please welcome Representative Andy Jorgensen, hailing from Whitewater from Jefferson. I serve a great part of our state. Uh, I come from uh, uh, UAW. I come from a factory floor. And I, I woke up one day. Thank you. I woke up one day and found out that my job, I figured out that my job is directly connected to politics, to people who represent me. And I started paying attention. And yeah, and it, it turned out the person that was representing me wasn't doing a very good job. So instead of you know, grumbling about it. I decided I'm going to run for this. And I won. And I made it. And uh, thank you. So you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it too. And that's something you got to think about. Because there's going to be a lot of opportunity in our state when it comes to running for office. So, anyway, I, I just want to say that I, I got this job, and here the, the, the governor says he's going to uh, focus in on jobs like a laser. <laughs> and so that got me excited. I mean, I was like, wow, we're going to do that. We're going to really mean business. So we just got done with a special job session, folks. And I was a part of that, uh, run by the governor. And, and it was really neat. I mean, jobs was a focus, and that's why we defined a bicycle. Yep. And we worked on trespassing. It is about time. Uh, what else? Oh, we defined a bed and breakfast. That just got signed into law today. It's a special day. I, you know, I, I've always wondered what went on in those bed and breakfasts. Now we know. The other thing is, uh, oh, you can now buy booze at 6 in the morning. And, yeah, the jobs that are going to come for that, from that man, they're going to be lining up. You know, it's, we're told it's working. You know, despite what I just told you. Oh, it's working. What's working? You know, I, jobs are leaving the state. We just got the numbers for October, and almost 10,000 jobs in a month under this governor have left our state. What is working? I mean, I, I, I don't understand. You know, the polls show something is working, though. Because the polls show 58% of our brothers and sisters, of our moms and dads, grandpas and grandmas, are saying, we want this guy gone. Gone, that's right, out of here. And it, what's incredible, if you look at those numbers, 24% of that 58% are Republicans. That is amazing. And so here's the point of, uh, I want you to leave, leave this. We've got a lot of points being made, but Thanksgiving is coming up. And I know there's probably some rules out there in, in some families. I know of some of mine, you can't talk politics. But I want you to break that rule. Because I, I want, when the Packers are trouncing the Lions, and there's a little spare time, yes, there's a little spare time, commercial comes on, lean over to Uncle Eddie and say, you know how many jobs have left under this governor? Uncle Eddie, we gotta get rid of this guy. 
Grandma Sally, I mean, can, can I can I count on you? And then you got that petition, that that that, that clipboard hidden on the side. Could you sign this? You just sign right here. You spell your name out right here, and then we got to get rid of of Scott Kevin Walker. You know, do you remember? Remember this? We're going to go back in time a little bit. Remember when the governor was running for governor? And he was running on the fact that he, he said to us, he looked us right in the eye with those sharp eyes. He said, he said, I am going to strip public workers of their union rights. Remember when he ran on that? No, you don't remember that because he didn't run on it. He would have lost if he would have ran on that. He never would have made it into being our governor if he'd have ran on that. So we've got to remember that this guy is... He, he, exactly. He's all of that and, and much more. And we've got, to, we've got to educate. We have got to educate the middle. The folks that are our friends and neighbors, those people we just don't know if they, they what they think of politics. You got to be brave, folks, and you got to talk to them, and you got to educate them about this governor, the destruction that he's done to our state, and you have to bring him in because we're going to win this fight with those that are in the middle. Truly, we are. You know, there's people out there that people that don't even know who our governor is, but that's you got to get to him first before he does when he says it's working. Okay, you got to get them, you got to get to them, and you got to educate them. And if we stick together, and if we stand together, and we work hard, this is not going to be easy. There's mountains of money coming to our state. Don't kid yourself that we got to do everything we possibly can, and we will win, folks. I guarantee you. You know, and when we win, we won't be de defining what a tricycle is. We will be turning a lot, almost all of this, if not all of it, around. We will get the rights back. All right? This voter, voter ID, we'll switch that around. That has got to go. And we will be governed by the people once again. I want to thank you for coming out. Once again, 